In an Alberta first, local cardiac specialists are now repairing leaky heart valves using a minimally invasive procedure that reduces hospital stays, speeds recovery, and leaves smaller scars. The procedure is used to treat mitral and aortic regurgitation, conditions in which blood leaks backwards through the heart valve, which can lead to irregular heartbeats or heart failure if left untreated. If you have a leaking valve, then you put extra pressure and extra volume requirements on the heart. So therefore, if you have to bail out a boat, for example, and uh, somebody gives you a bailer that's got a hole in it, you need more energy. So you need more energy with the leaking valve, the heart enlarges, and the outcome is heart failure, and that's one of the scourges of North America. Conventionally, if we uh, go in through the front, through the breastbone, and we open the heart, and we stop the heart, and we repair the valve. So the principle is exactly the same, but now we're using telescopes, we're using a smaller incision, and uh, the bottom line is that we have a patient who has less pain and a shorter incision. The entire operation takes several hours, with patients spending three to four days recovering in hospital, about half the time they would spend after traditional valve repair surgery. Patients can expect to make a full recovery within six weeks. Three-time Canadian basketball Olympian Rommel Raffin underwent the procedure last July. He says his top priority was getting back to his normal routine of working out every day and playing hockey twice a week. I wasn't sure what to expect. You know, you see people that have had heart surgery before and these guys are struggling, they can't put their arms down and so on. And I came out of there, uh, I, th I felt pretty good. I mean, you're, you're under anesthetic for a couple of days, but once that was over, I was able to eat and I was expecting a lot more pain and that's what I really enjoyed because I was psyching myself out with. You know, here's, you're not going to be able to do a lot. And I was walking around, uh, they had me walking two or three days after, so I was really pleased at the progress and how quick it was. And I'm really happy because now I, I went to my cardiologist about uh, two weeks ago and he says, no, we don't hear anything in there, let's just, I'm going for an echocardiogram just to make sure everything's good. Then the most important thing is we need to have a team approach. So our anaesthetists and our nurses, we went away as a group and we went and did extra special training. And so to begin with, and we've done uh, 10 now, so to begin with we were very selective with our patients. It may well expand, but at the moment we're being selective with our patients. Well, this is a well-established procedure in many parts of the world. Uh, it is done much more commonly in Eastern Canada, but uh, the UFC is uh, uh, the first centre in Western Canada to be doing minimally invasive valve surgery. So Dr. Maitland uh, has helped to bring the, uh, this procedure uh, out west for, uh, for us Western Canadians. Ten patients in Alberta have already undergone minimal incision, aortic and mitral valve repair since the procedure was first performed on May 30th. Refining surgical skills and introducing leading-edge procedures has become a hallmark of the work happening at the Libin Cardiovascular Institute of Alberta, an entity of both Alberta Health Services and the University of Calgary.